Whether you create talking head videos, product videos, explainer videos, or presentation videos for corporate clients, you're likely going to need some professional animations to level up your videos. These 100 plus stunning Apple style animations from Motion VFX's M Keynote Pack are available for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Premiere. I've created an example promo video, which is just a video for my website, and I've tried to use as many of the amazing assets from the M Keynote pack as possible in an attempt to show you what you could possibly create with the pack. I'm going to break down this crazy looking timeline and show you how you can customize all these animations for your videos or client videos. But first, let's have a look at the promo. Welcome to my website, bradwestmedia.com, where you can find all sorts of fun Final Cut Pro stuff, like free plugins that I've curated from various different plugin creators, or free transitions that I've scoured the internet to find so that you don't have to. I've even got a few freebies of my own that have over 8,000 collective downloads, like my Red Halation plugin, or my Log to Rec 709 conversion LUT, or my Whip Pan and Zoom transitions pack. And you can speed up your workflow today by downloading my free 100 shortcuts every Final Cut Pro editor should know PDF, which is accompanied by the only Final Cut Pro shortcuts video you ever have to watch. You can also learn some new editing tips and techniques by taking a look at my YouTube tutorials, which are broken down into categories like popular videos and effects tutorials to mention a few. Speaking of YouTube, you might be interested to know that most of my audience is from the US, or that this is the age breakdown of the people who watch my videos, or that the channel has received over 2.3 million views. Thank you for that, by the way. Another way to learn is by taking one of my courses, like my Basics of Final Cut Pro course, or my Color Grading Masterclass. It's affordable, and you can see what my students think of the course to decide if it's something you'd be interested in. You can also browse through a list of the Final Cut Pro plugins I use and recommend, the gear I use to shoot and edit my videos, as well as the different music subscription services that I use. Of course, you can also support the channel by heading over to my shop and picking up my LUTs or my full whip pan and zoom transitions pack, but there's no need to spend any money because my website is filled with freebies that you can enjoy. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, feel free to head over to the contact me page, fill out the form and get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. So this is the timeline right here. Let's make it a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. And right here, we've got the voiceover in a multicam clip. We've got the sound effects and the music. And then all the orange clips are the screen recordings. The red are my images. And all these lovely purple titles over here are my M Keynote animations. So if we have a look in the browser, you can see M Keynote comes with a bunch of backgrounds, boards, call to actions, a whole lot of infographics, some logo options, some miscellaneous stuff a lot of placeholders, which I use a lot, and some typography templates. So there's a lot of great stuff to work with in here. So let's run through and break down some of this edit. We have this little web address graphic that types on nicely here. If I double click on the top of my inspector, I can open up these parameters and you can see you can change the text, animation in and out. You can change the icon either to you know, a globe or a custom icon that you can apply using the clip well. And there's a bunch of different parameters that you can adjust. Moving on, we have a cool background. So I'll just hide these two. What this one does is blur what's underneath and that animates in. Then on top of that, I've added another one which just creates this nice little block. And on top of the block, I've added this little plugin animation. So that was one of these placeholders. I think it was this one, number seven. Yep, that's it. And the cool thing is you can go in here, change all the text, change the colors, and you can add your different plugins to these drop zones. You can also change things like the inside scale or the drop zone scale. So you can control all of these individually. Then we move on, we have another one of these same effects and they kind of overlap slightly so that as the one animates out, the next one animates in. That's why we've got all this layering going on over here. So as one animates out, we have another one animating in. This is another one of the placeholders, which is really cool. We can add a nice glow around the objects and we've got one of these cool titles popping in over here. The nice thing is a lot of these graphics come with these on-screen controls that you can use to adjust the position and the scale, which makes it really quick and easy to customize. Then we can move on. We've got a background that animates in here and we've got this plugin with the text that animates in as well. 
Now you might be wondering why these are compound clips. And the reason I've done that, I'll open this up quick, is so that I can have an animation in and out on this plugin. And it was just a little too slow for my liking. So what I did was, I, whoops, I created a compound clip and I set the speed to 200%. So now it animates in at twice the speed. And we have three different colored backgrounds, which I've just crossfaded between. The reason these were also compound clips is because background one had an animation in, but no animation out. Background two had no animation in or out at all. And background three had no animation in, but animation out. So that way we can crossfade between the different colors, but also animate in and animate out on that background. We've got a nice call to action here, this free download. And then we've got a bunch of other little graphics coming up. So we've got this cool clock. We've got a nice text graphic here, which comes from the typography section. And then we've also got a cool placeholder, which animates in the pages of this PDF and another little free download overlay and some additional text. Then that animates out into a screen recording. And on top of the screen recording, we've got another placeholder with another little title here in the middle. Again, if you go in here, you can customize all sorts of things like the color, the pointer on the bottom of this bar, amongst other things. Moving on swiftly, we've got this background animating in and we've got some really cool infographics. So these infographics are actually fantastic. We've got bar charts, line graphs, these kind of dials. We've got progress bars, all sorts of cool things. So you can animate those in, change all the values. And I was able to change all of this text and the colors and you can just drag and adjust these bars to change the values, which is really, really cool. We have another cool graphic here with the YouTube logo on it. And the nice thing is you can come in here and choose from a variety of other different logos, or you can even change it to custom and upload your own custom logo using the drop zone. And then we've got these really cool little call to actions here. So we've got the price and this button. That's what this one does. So that comes in, you've got a little mouse that clicks on it, really nice. And we've got these boards that come up, which are great for testimonials. And here we've got quite a lot going on as well. So we've got this screen recording placed into the drop zone on the side, which will be on this placeholder here. So all we've done is added my screen recording to this drop zone and scaled it accordingly. Then we've got text that runs through here with exactly what I'm saying. And the cool thing is you can choose the highlight color of this text, which I've made orange. And you can also choose the start and end index, which I've also keyframed over time so that it changes as I'm speaking and it highlights the words as I'm speaking. And then we move on to more of what we've already seen, this bar, we've got these pack shots flying in, this call to action with buy and install. And then we've got another placeholder. We've just duplicated that and swapped out the drop zones. We have two moving in one direction and the middle one moving in a different direction. Again, these are all things that you can come in here and customize. So you can see the animation speed is 1.5 on this one, but in the middle one, it's set to negative 1.5 and you can change the direction just like that. Lastly, we go over to the screen recording and we've got these little ticks and circles popping up, which is really cool. Nice little details. There's a bunch of these miscellaneous type animations. You can add little speech bubbles or progress bars, things like that. So M Keynote is a really versatile pack and there's a lot in here that can help you to make really professional looking videos. If you want to add M Keynote to your arsenal of effects, then make sure you click on the link down below to check it out and be sure to use the coupon code to get 10% off as well. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll want to check out my top five motion VFX plugins video, which also includes some free plugins.